Hello everyone, my name is Web Weaver. The first parts of this video, the voiceover is going to be recorded in post. Uh, not because of anything weird, but because I can't record the actual World of Horror yet because I don't have enough time. But I did want to record this rant before I lost it because the banter is great. So, listen. I am absolutely gobsmacked at how hard it is to give Square Enix money. It, it needs to be studied in a lab. Uh, students at college need to learn about this. This is so incredibly incompetent. Where do I even begin? Okay, so this is partially my fault, but also people wait until the end of sales to make purchases at the last minute. That's completely normal. Like every friend that I know does that. So I'm going to put that to the side for now. So Final Fantasy XIV, the online store, was having a sale until uh, uh, like six, seven hours ago. And what ended up happening was I am a degenerate in Final Fantasy XIV, and it is worth the money to me to have an alt account that its entire purpose is to be on my laptop with crafting macros set up so that I can hit the crafting macros during a new expansion drop or a even patch drop. Now, for those of you who don't know why that is, the, the reason why is because when an expansion drops or an even patch, so 2, 4, or 6 drops, a raid tier drops, right? Well, I suppose it would be 2 and 4, and there's not really a 6, so it's just 2 and 4. 6 is something else. Um, fake fan? Fake fan? Never played Final Fantasy XIV before in his life? Anyways, when a... When, a, when 2 or 4, or an expansion drops, 0, 2, or 4 drops, I do a metric ton of crafting. An indescribable amount of crafting. I think when Abyssos dropped, I did like... I want to say for the week, that for the launch week of Abyssos, I probably did over a hundred hours of crafting easily because i would log on during the day when i was busy and i would just hit crafting macros and i made like 50 million gil there was a whole arc about it you remember that right totally you're a real one you know what i'm talking about any anyways purity testing side <laughs> oh that's such a dumb thing don't worry about it that was for legal reasons a joke so it is worth it to me, because I have been through the crafting mines, that I want an alt so that my crafting speed is effectively doubled. It would be just a, literally just a character on my laptop that I can just use to hit crafting macros and that I can level crafting while I'm doing Dawn Trail blind. So that character can just get all their crafters up to level 100 while I'm doing the Dawn Trail MSQ. I'm a degenerate, okay? And so all I want is to boost this character and then get all their crafters up to level 90 before Dontro comes out. So that, that's my plan, right? So I have an alt account and it hasn't been subbed to the game for a while. So I decide to resubscribe because Dawn Trail's, but we're gonna know the release date and Dawn Trail on Saturday. And I just wanna, I mean, it take, it's kind of a pain in the ass to get all your shit to 90. So I might as well just start now and then unsubscribe and then resubscribe when Dawn Trail's back. Or Dawn Trail's here, I should say. So, the first thing is first. I get up my laptop, I boot, boot up the game, subscription expired, so I can't do anything, right? You, you can't boot up the game. The su subscription's expired, you can't play. So, I go, to, <laughs> I go to the online store. And by that I mean the mod station, because those are two different things. You can't use the online store unless you have an active subscription whatever right i go to the online store i go to register payment details because i admittedly thought that it would be a normal experience because so i i have never canceled my main final fantasy 14 subscription before because why would i you know i i play it every day if i couldn't play it every day i would be miserable so this is the first time that I've canceled and resubscribed because I don't need an alt account ticking away $15 every month. That's insane. 
I just need it for even patches and expansion launches. That's all I need it for. So... <laughs> I'm still laughing about it in my head. So... I hit... I, I register my payment details. I was a fool. Because, listen, you have a subscription. The, the subscription was uh, cancelled. You renew your payment details. You just assume that that would resume the subscription because you're giving them your payment details. No. Okay? No. Not at all. I And also, I should preface that this is, this is the most bizarre system I've ever used for a subscription before. Crunchyroll, you unsubscribe, you resubscribe. Goddamn, my mini factory. You unsubscribe, you resubscribe. Uh, Heroes Infinite, a, a company, a, a small company that makes 3D printing STL files monthly. I, because of their style, I either absolutely love what they have on offer for a month or I absolutely hate it, or they have amazing terrain or amazing monsters. Like they had one month where it was like an axolotl dragon. That thing was cool as hell, right? So... So, I, and, and for them, for a long time, you had to cancel the subscription via email, okay? And this is still the worst system I have ever seen in my life. This is the worst subscription service system I've ever seen in my life. So, I, I renew my payment details. The payment details are successfully registered. This, I'm going to tell you something right now literally does nothing okay registering your payment details does nothing for renewing a subscription because you have to enter your payment details again when you actually find the subscription page so i assume it's for like collector's edition upgrades i i don't know i, I don't i don't know i i, I don't know i don't know I don't know. <laughs> so I, I, I wasted time going through multiple menus registering my, my payment details. Then I, I found the correct menu to renew your subscription. And there is a three-page process after you give them your payment details. So I enter my payment details. I have to do the first confirmation. Then I have to do the second confirmation. And it says your subscription payment renewal information or whatever has been renewed, right? Or has been, like, saved. So it's like, okay, they have saved my... I, I have re I, I've clicked renew my subscription. I have entered my payment details. I have gone through two confirmations, and they say that my payment details have been registered. And then I click off because I'm a dumbass. So there's... I said it's a three-step process after, okay? What they do is the first one's just a confirmation, the second one is a $1 charge that they give you back. It's it's They charge you, but then they don't collect on it, so it comes back to your account. And then the third page is the actual renewing of the subscription, okay? So I got to the second page. They charged me $1. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. Well, I, I was like, okay. I, I'm good to log on because I registered my payment details through the renew subscription button. So by the way, there is a register payment details and then there is a register payment details under renew subscription, right? Like you click renew subscription and then you give them your payment details. So I went through all of that and then I tried to log on. It failed. Don't have an active subscription. <laughs> so then I go to my account, see my subscription status and my subscription status is canceled or not renewed or whatever they call it. And so I'm like, okay, but I just went through it. So I go through it again, and they charge me $1 again. And because what they do, it's smart. You know, they want to make sure that you're not using a fraudulent credit card or that your bank account actually exists so that they're charging a legitimate, like, you know, they're, they're charging something legitimate. So we go through this process for a second time. And then I'm like, oh, there's a, there's, there's a, there's a next button down here. So I click the next button. And then it says your subscription has been successfully renewed or confirmed or whatever. I don't know what it said. But this is the page where when you get to here, when you click through it, you did it. And so I did it. And then inst I, I open the launcher. I log in. You have, to, you have to log in manually, by the way, because it doesn't save your passwords. You have to enter your password every single time. So I log in and it says I don't have a subscription. It doesn't let me, it doesn't let me play the game. Right? Like, I can't play the game. I can't play the game. And so... 
well, you know, it lets you log in, but then it's like, hey, you know, you can't play the game, right? So, because the act of logging in, it tells you that you don't have an... Uh, anyways, I'm getting into semantics here. So, I go, I look it up online, and then they just tell me about the three-page thing, and you have to click through the third page. So I did it correctly, but the second time it just didn't work. And so I look at my bank, $2 taken away by Square Enix. <laughs> and so then I go through it again, and I do it for the third time. And then... And you think this is the end of the story, it's not. I go in, go through three times, and then I go to look at my subscription status. And it finally says renewed. It finally says active. So $18 later, we're in. We win these. We're in. And I want you to know that the second time, which I went through all of the menus and I got to the, the renewal part where it renews your subscription, I clicked the same options every single time because there's like a bunch of random ass options like how many months do you want to subscribe? Is it a standard? Is it an entry? Whatever. I always just click the same thing every single time. Now, this is the part where I got screwed by Square Enix because, again, this is a time sensitive thing, okay? So what happened, I've never had this happen before because I've bought character specific items on my main account. I, I do it all the time because I have a problem, okay? I bought a lot of emotes, bought a couple outfits. I actually haven't bought that many mounts. But uh, anyways, we're getting a little off topic. So I have a character. They are a cosplay character. I want them to be my crafting bot, okay? That, that That's the... And so I go to the online store. And there's a sale for story skips, there's a sale for boosts. So I pick the boost that I want, and then it takes me to checkout. It doesn't take you to your cart, it doesn't leave you on the page so you can add more stuff. No, it takes you to checkout. Immediately. So that means that when you actually... That means that there is an on-sale page, which has both of the items that I want. And so I click on one of the items, and then it takes me off of that page to checkout. And then I have to click either the online store logo to leave checkout. Again, this is not the cart. And or I have to click continue shopping. And so I click on the online store logo. It takes me back to the start of the online store, the, the head, like the, the main page of the online store. Then I have to click on sale again. Then I have to click the item that I want. Then we go in there, and finally, I have the two items that I want. It's just inconvenient. It's not really that big of a deal. But it's a little time sensitive, so it's a little annoying. Then, I go to my characters. And the character that I want to boost is not there on the list. Every single character that I have is there, except for that one. Every single character that I have is there, except for that specific character that I wanted to buy the items for. And so I'm just kind of staring at it, like, completely goddamn baffled. Like, what? And again, this is a time-sensitive thing. And so I look it up, and it's a known issue that's been around for, like, five years at least, because that's how old the Reddit thread was. People were complaining about this. There is a bug where your character just does not show up on any of their websites. And, yeah. So... <laughs> I can't, man. I just... I don't know what to say. Like, I... <laughs> I, I... So it's not gonna be the cosplay character. That, uh, that that gets to be the crafting bot. Uh, unless I feel like spending $50, which I don't really feel like spending $50. So what I did was I took one of the other characters who I was like, okay, I kind of have a fun like idea for this character if I ever have like extra money to boost them or if like I ever want to play on them, like for real. Um, because I like to, you know, dress up is fun, right? And I also am a, a strict no Fantasia Andy for my main character. I have bought two vials of Fantasia, and those were both for alts. One was to fix a cosplay character that I, I did wrong, and then the other one was for... I actually don't remember what the other one is for, but I, I have a vial of Fantasia from a character who boosted through the ARR MSQ, so they didn't get it for free. Anyways... 
I don't remember what that one was for. But, um... So, I just, I just picked this random-ass character, and I, I just bought the, the boost and the story skip for them. And now they're going to be my crafting bot. Which is, um... Yeah. That's great. I, I, I... I don't know what to say. Like, it's just, it, it's incompetent. Like, what do, you, what do you want me to say? It's just a joke. I, I don't think there's ever been a company that I have ever experienced that is, that, that is as incompetent as Square Enix when it comes to giving you your money. Like, it's, it's crazy, man. Like, I, I just wanted, like, it was a very simple transaction. I wanted to spend $15 to get my subscription and then $36 to get, a story skip and a boost, but I couldn't do it because, well, I mean, I did it because, you know, I have a problem, but like, it, and you know, you know how it's a real problem that I'm considering actually spending 50 bucks to get the character that I want up and boosted, but uh, I'm not going to, don't worry, don't worry, I'm not going to do that, and I'm certainly not going to use uh, YouTube funds for that under any circumstance, uh, which by the way, we get paid out soon, actually, there was a little bit of a delay on it because uh youtube is weird and they don't really explain these things very well but we're gonna get a payout soon so that should be pretty cool or maybe we won't i don't know because they say like you have 23 dollars of this acronym and then you have 21 dollars of this acronym and then they both have estimated revenue by them and then there's another estimated revenue number and then there's another estimated revenue number in a different window that's different. And then there's a different estimated number that is different from all four of those. And that has a different acronym. And then there are other acronyms that are like, this is how much an adver advertisers are paying for X amount of views. And then you see that compared to the amount of money that you got from the video and it's different. YouTube is very weird. YouTube is incredibly weird. I don't understand it. Um, you know, we're still on the dog aquarium arc. Don't think that I forgot about that. And, uh, you know, uh, channel funds will always be used for, um, the channel, which is me. I'm the channel. So, you know, like, I, I, I already, I already said it. Getting, like, getting extra groceries just for fun would be awesome. But, uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I, I have never seen... I, by the way, this is something that's very important, okay? We have to do the responsibility arc here. I do not need the money from YouTube. It is a nice bonus, okay? It is bonus. It is not required to beat the main game. Shoutouts to Simple Flips. So, I have always maintained the idea that I like money and I want money. And I will not say no to money. And you should like, you should subscribe, you should comment, you should join the channel membership TM and uh, other stuff. Also, Josephine's chair broke. So she, you know, had to work on getting a new chair and hasn't had an opportunity to edit the Lunacid. So Lunacid will be coming back next week i know i know you're thinking all oh, it's excuses but like you know her chair actually did break so she had to get a new one and getting a new chair getting a new piece of furniture that's an event did you really want to sit down and watch lunacid and by i mean yeah she has to watch the lunacid that's like an hour and 20 minutes long has to edit out a bunch of nonsense and bad bits and banter absolute detritus right so anyways Lunacid will be back next week. There might be a funny video. I haven't decided yet. I'll know. I'll 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 let you know when I've uh when I've figured out what I'm doing for Thursday. Cause like Saturday, okay, so Friday, Plunger's edited series. I want to be clear, Plunger is not in it unless he edits his own voice into it for fun as a bit. Uh, but Plunger is editing it. That starts on Friday, and then. There is RimWorld on Saturday and Little Goody Two Shoes on Sunday. Then, you know, I had an idea for a series on Monday and I recorded a couple things with it, but I, I don't know if I'm feeling it, so I might try something else. Uh, maybe Monday's a free space. I don't know. Maybe Monday is a 
Maybe Monday is a, a, a stretch goal for February. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. My name is Web Weaver. I'll see you on the next episode of whatever you decide wa to watch next. Because, um, well, I ended up talking about this for 20 minutes. And I think that if I tried, if I tried hard enough, I think I could get a World of Horror run if I was just focusing on the gameplay think I could get that done in 20 minutes. Do I delay for just a little bit longer this post commentary? I gotta go do the dishes. I gotta finish laundry. I made a stupid mistake, man. Brother and or sister, I made a stupid mistake. I was kind of hanging out, getting ready to, I don't know, do something. I completely forgot what it is. And then Plunger's just like, hey, League of Legends. And that was fun. We didn't lose a single game. We were both cooking. Um, Plunger's gotten a lot better. His game sense is still... <laughs> Listen, Plunger's at that stage where he's an OTP of a Lowie, and so he kind of has, like, your Alawi brain gets smart, but your game sense, map awareness, and knowledge of what you should be doing gets dumb. So he's, like, mechanically probably, like, high bronze, low silver Alawi like, purely from Alawi mechanics, but as far as, like, everything else is concerned, he doesn't even consider it. Like, I don't think I've ever seen my man ward, like, ever. And so either he gets farmed by the enemy jungler and then <laughs> gets pent to kill in the, uh, in the like, 30-40 minute mark. He hasn't gotten a pent to kill yet. I think he did get a quadra kill, though. That was pretty cool. Uh, or he just kills both the enemy top laner and the enemy jungler. But if the enemy top laner is hyper aggressive and has ignite, he usually loses. And he always, it's so funny. He, like, I love him. He was, he's so iconic for this. He always builds Tear of the Goddess as his first item on Alawi. Like, he could have so much better sustain with a Doron shield or, like, I don't know, anything else. But he just always starts with the Tear of the Goddess. And god damn it. God bless him. He he's getting much better at Alawi, and I he he is listen, Plunger is the start of the uh this blue Alawi in Challenger is dominating top lane. I I he always sells it, but like I want him to buy a Mana Muse or like a what is it called? A fumble winter? I don't know what it is, but that dumb thing that only Tarek buys and sometimes Skarner. Yeah, I know Skarner sometimes buys it because I play Skarner sometimes. I want to get Skarner up to Mastery Rank 7 before uh, he gets taken out of the game and replaced by the imposter known as Skarner. They, they, they should... They, they should give us a classic Skarner skin. I think it's really disrespectful that you have a champion that has a clear and unique identity crystal scorpion and then you just take that out of the game and you're like okay so he's still a scorpion but instead of being a crystal he's like just a, a regular scorpion which was the entire purpose of the sand scourge skin which admittedly the sand scourge skin is really good but like i run default skarner skin because it looks cool so you could like not <laughs> You, you 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 could like give us a crystal scarner skin so at least i can feel a little bit better about the fact that you're taking a champion that i like and completely shooting him out back in the back of the head and replacing him with a champion that's completely different oh but he can kasane dritto oh whoa that's so crazy oh my god his like the thing is i've ranted about the scarner thing i think in a lords of the fallen video but the thing with the, the thing with Skarner is that he had a interaction that I really liked, which was he hit you with his skill shot, he ulted you, he dragged you, and then right as his ult wore off, he would hit you because the status effect from his skill shot would still be there. So you had this really nice combo that felt really nice to pull off. Like it was it, it was the entire purpose to play him because he didn't have anything else. And there that's not going to be in the game. Because his new abilities are uh, Sand AoE, uh, you sent out Skarner, uh, Skarner's uh, Sandstorm ability started buffeting the enemy. Whoa, uh, he's got Rock Throw, bros a, bros a Pokemon, he's got Tackle. Ay, ay, ay.
And then, it, but, but guys, but guys, his alt is still a, a scorpion's tail impaling you and dragging you. Isn't that so cool? He's still Skarner, guys. He's still Skarner, guys. His kit's completely different, and his alt's a skill shot, but he's still Skarner. He's still, he's still Skarner. Uh, he doesn't have his crystal slash, he doesn't have his crystal shot, and he doesn't have his armor. He doesn't have his shield that gives him movement speed, uh, but he's still Skarner, guys. He he can he can use sandstorm. He 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 can throw a boulder. He 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 can drift. He he can drift like Nunu, guys. Isn't that crazy? He can drift like Nunu, but instead of doing a lot of damage, he can like impale somebody and then move them slightly. Like they. they uh... Listen, I'm a Briar. I'm a Briar main with Lilia on backup. Lilia. I'm a Briar main with Lilia and Poppy on backup, okay? If I need to play a tank, I play Poppy. If I need if I need AD, I play Briar. Or if I just play the game in general, I play Briar. I really like Briar. And then if I need AP, I play Lilia. I like all three of those champions. They're all really fun. Um I'm a big fan of Briar. I I I would like to like Skarner. But I just don't like every... Like, here's the thing. I actually don't think the Skarner rework is terrible. I just think he's not Skarner. You know? Like, they did a similar thing with, uh... Whatchamacallit? My boy Mordekaiser. Except they did Mordekaiser a lot better. Like, Mordekaiser still kind of plays the same to an extent. It's just that instead of being an auto attack, his Q is a skill shot and his E isn't dog shit and his W isn't dog shit and his alt isn't dog shit. Um, like Mordekaiser, I, I really liked the old Mordekaiser uh, and I played him a lot, but I didn't mind the rework. Like I like the new Mordekaiser, and he's obviously healthier for the game because he doesn't get a third auto attack that deletes you from existence, because everybody knows, every League of Legends player loves a third auto attack that's empowered. Um, you know, everybody loves that, but like, for real, for real, you, you gotta give it to, uh, but the thing is, like, Mordekaiser still feels the same, you know what I mean? Like, his Q is extremely dangerous, and if he gets ahead, he is a monster. He's a raid boss. You have to have the whole party to take him down. He's got all the skills he could ever want to make sure that, like, you have to send three to four people to deal with him, you know? And that shield has a lot more interactability now, and it's also more clear on how it works. Because I remember back when I was playing old Mordekaiser, people would just try to attack you and you had full shield, but you were low health, so they thought they could kill you. But because this little tiny-ass bar underneath your health was full, meant that you couldn't die, and that as you damage them, the bar goes back up, right? So, you know, it's a lot more clear. I, I would say current Mordekaiser is fine. I don't personally play him anymore, but he's fine. And I like him when I do decide to play him. I haven't brought up jungle, but I used to play top a little bit. He's okay. He's I, I think he's good, actually. I think he's good. I just don't personally like him as much anymore. But th this Skarner rework is bad, man. Like, it's just bad. In the sense of I like Skarner's identity, and I like the one... I, I, I like the unique combo that Skarner has, and how Skarner plays for that combo, and the execution of that combo. Right? Skarner's kind of like Kennen in a certain ways, like where you have one job, and if you... Frick that job up, it's Jover. But if you do that job correctly, then it just feels so good, you know? And instead of expanding on that, they're just kind of making him like a new new style character where he just drifts around the rift and does silly things. I don't... I, I might have to give you two World of Horror runs at this point. At 30 minutes in this economy? Stay safe out there. Have a good one. Bye.
Thank you. 